Hello, fishing like the fish. Hello, fishing like the. Hello, fishing like the fish's people. That 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 sounds weird. Um. Anyways, I was just making this video, just like, kind of like a post-game interview. Um, because we're about, as in about to, as in, as in like tomorrow, go fishing for some bass. I think we're gonna do mainly bass fishing, and yeah, but. There's a few things we need to talk to you about. So, let's start off with the first thing. The first thing is this lure. My grandmother got me this lure from um, one of her trips she just went on. This is a, a Whopper Plopper made by River 2C. I really like River 2C's brand because of some of the quality things they make. Um, I'm just. I got one of their crane baits. If I can just get it out. One of their crankbaits from Mystery Tackle Box. As you can see, it's kind of in this perch color. I hope it's focusing right now. Um, yeah, so anyways, I know I know their baits are very good. So, anyways, let's just put this guy aside for now. Let's get out this Whopper Plopper. This is my first ever Whopper Plopper. Size 90. Um, I'm going to be throwing out on my regular rod with some braid. I know you're not really supposed to use braid in trebles, but I looked it up and it should be fine for tomorrow. Hopefully we don't lose any. So here it is. Here's this awesome, awesome Whopper Plopper. See, I really hope it's focusing right now. Awesome Whopper Plopper. It's called Whopper Plopper because this tail, see how it spins like that when it's in the water? It it's kind of has like a cupped tail. One second, it kind of has like a cupped tail, as you can see right there. So the wa it goes like that in the water. Then it has two treble hooks, one at the end and one at the front. Um, yeah, this is in rainbow trout pattern, so it's not a bad pattern. I don't know if we, I don't think we have any trout in our river, but I don't really think it's matter for real too much for top water. But yeah, so that's this river to see. Uh, lure. We will be reviewing that tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to talk to you guys about. The second is this. Okay, this may not look like a lot to you, but um, for me, it's been my days coming home from school for about uh, for for this week basically. So this bait, um, since as you guys know, I live in Canada, and in my region. Um, Fast season is ending very shortly. That's why I want to get this episode, this, this, these, using these lures in. I want to get them in as soon as I can. But once that's over, I'm going to have nothing to do. So instead of having me having nothing to do, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be, I built this. This is my musky bait. Um, as you guys can see there, that is my musky bait. Uh, it's not done obviously, but it's in three sections, so I'm going to attach it. It's kind of like a, um, one of those baits, just like, it, just look at musky baits and it's kind of like that one. So I, I made my own kind of, it has like a little worm tail, I used a Sanko, and yeah, and has like a little dorsal fin out of another piece of a Sanko. It has a red head, obviously, and a white body and some dots. I put the, and it's going to be right about like three pieces, kind of like, that sort of three pieces. It's gonna have it's gonna have a hook right here, a hook right here, and then a hook right here. Check your re check your regions um things if you're gonna be wanting to make this bait because um in my region you're allowed four uh, hooks on one bait. Yeah, so, yeah. so we've gone over my new musky bait that I'm still gonna be making. The only thing I didn't really go over is this. I'm going to put some weights on the bottom. And don't worry, everything's been clear-coated. That's why it's shiny. Actually, it's Maj Podge, which is water-resistant. So, yeah, and it has three coats on it. Um, you may see these, these little dots. You may see these little dots. Um, and that's because when a bait's moving separately, when a bait when a bait's moving, like, like separately, like, this is obviously going to be swimming like a fish, kind of, like, if you ever see one, they go kind of go like this. So, so, to a smaller fish, maybe, to, maybe, for like a big, like a big old muskie, like a, like a 30, 40, 50 inch muskie, hopefully they don't catch one that big, 
um, th at easy meal, easy, easy meal, but to maybe a, maybe a 10, 20 inch musky, or maybe a pike, maybe this is, maybe this is a bit too big, maybe it doesn't have the confidence to eat it, but when it's moving separately, this might be one, because of the eye, like when, when it's moving really fast, all you see is bleeding, that's why the head's red, and then one eye, two eye, three eye, so it could look like a big one with dots, or it could look like three separate ones because they're all moving in independently. So that's why I did the, the eyes. Um, so like you might catch any size fish because with me, uh, I I pick whatever species I want, whatever species I want, whatever size I want. Um, now I've been fish. You may wonder, wow, this guy stinks. He's not uploading any videos. Unsubscribe. Don't do that. Stop right there. Don't do that. Actually, in fact, go hit the subscribe and like button. That helped me a lot. Um. But anyways, I'll show you, I've gone fishing two times this week for carp, I'll show you a few, a few clips from that right about. Alright, so here's an adult session with me that Jaden will never know about, so uh, yeah. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> the pond's really dirty. And we're gonna be cleaning out this pond, well, not cleaning it out, but there's always so much garbage in here, and the fish though, the fish don't deserve to, well, that, fish don't deserve to have that. Oh, oh, okay, okay, guys. So Colson just hooked up with a nice one. You can probably lift him. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. So there was like so many right there. Just like we were just walking, and there were so many right there. Hopefully you enjoyed watching those clips. Now let's talk about tomorrow. We're gonna be throwing this whopper plopper, like I showed you. It's a nine size ninety. Um, it's size ninety and weighs eleven grams. Cool. Trout pattern. So yeah, we're gonna be throwing this a bunch. And whatever really l it, it looks like out there. So, and, and, yeah, so we're gonna be throwing, throwing this and maybe a few other baits. Now let's get into where we're fishing. Tomorrow, we're probably gonna be fishing my pond that I like to fish at, and my river I like to fish at, and maybe one other place, I don't know. Um, okay. Awesome. This is the main thing. This is the main thing we want to talk about. So don't don't click off. I, I see you. Don't don't click off. Don't click off. Okay. This is the main thing. So the main thing is, I'll say it now. I'm partnering up slash kind of getting sponsored by a company. This company is called Pro Real Fishing. Its um picture will be right here if I can. If not, it'll be at the end of this clip. And um. Yeah, so we're, I'm getting sponsored by that. So my lures are going to be coming in, hopefully very soon. It's a little bit while shipping because I'm in Canada, obviously. So it's a little bit while of shipping, um, but hopefully, maybe with luck, they'll come by tomorrow. That'd be great. And in that case, I'll review them really quickly, and I'll then I'll show you how to fish them and use them. So this is kind of a post-game interview, before, and then hopefully we can catch up with maybe. Really anything. My goal, catch one fish. That's one fish that's over seven inches. So not a bluegill, not a carp. And carps don't count. I take a catfish. I, I don't think we're going to be going for catfish. I'll take a catfish. I'll take, I'll take a bass. I'll take a muskie. I'll take a pike. Because I've heard these baits can catch anything. I've heard, I've heard bass, muskie, pike. Those, those are really it, but like, that's basically the best things you can catch with these lures. And see, just like to get a nice little view of it. So I hope you enjoyed this post-game um, interview. Uh, signing out. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great, wonderful weekend, day, night, morning, whenever you're watching. Have it good.